Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. Dark Side of the Stream. Jay Stevens, Mike the Intern. I'm a little bum. There's no Moody Cat today. We're we're Joe-less, but we don't want to get into the Grumpy Cat situation. He'll be back soon, I promise. Uh, Today on Dark Side of the Stream, I felt like we needed to expand Jay Stevens' tastes. So we made him watch a documentary about the band. Were you familiar with this band before you watched this? I... Hadn't heard of them. You'd heard of them. Uh, the good. guitar player, Robbie Robertson, I've heard of him, uh, who seems like a pretty cool cat, by the way, to me, in my book. You think he's a pretty but, cool dude? Uh, as far as the music goes, not really my jam. Not really jamming to the band, Because huh? literally, it's like just jam. It's like, well, it's Americana. It's proto Is that what it's called? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like it's folk, folk rock in, stuff. Uh, bringing in like early R&B rock and country America, yeah, I wasn't, Americana. I wasn't That's exactly it. what they were. I wasn't digging um, it. I mean, they were so good when they were originally hired as Dylan's band that like, he saw them and was like, I have to have those guys because yeah, he wanted to move to electric. And like Eric Clapton wanted to join the band. Eric Clapton wanted to And they to told leave, him no. And they were like, dude, it's not really. He just wanted to be a member because he saw what was going on with the the camaraderie between these guys. They part like lived together. And Clapton at this point was a superstar. He wanted to get back to those early days of just kind of the camaraderie with a group of guys making music. That's what he, he wanted. And he says, can we just jam? And they go, we don't jam. We just write songs yeah. and play songs. Which is true, which <laughs> is what which is what they did. Um, and, uh, it, you know, this documentary, Once We Were Brothers, is what we're talking about. And uh, I believe it's on Hulu. You know, I, I am a big fan of the band, especially their first two albums. And, of, of course, The Last Waltz. But, like, this documentary, make no mistake, was one man's version of what happened in this group. Robbie Robertson. Robbie Robertson's event. And Who it, pretty it, much it, was like, it seemed like he was like the, the leader, the main cat, right? And yeah. the title is, it, it kind of says that once we were brothers, Robbie Robertson and the band. So Scorsese and Robertson are both. And, and, and Scorsese does this this isn't just the first time he like takes someone's vision of what this was and then that's the story runs with it and you know not to not to discredit robbie robertson he was the principal songwriter for the band especially in the later years Seems like when, he had the drive to yeah yeah and it, it's, it's which, a, yeah, which that happens in and, and every band even though you start as a band usually like they say in that documentary usually one member kind of becomes the through. star or has, becomes yeah. like the main cat, you know, and, and it's just push it. how it goes. Yeah, yeah, and we'll get into why he had to push it next, Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7, The Cave. Right place, right time. That is a great, great way to put it. Right um, place, right time. That's where we are right now. Right right now, yeah. Even though Joe's not here. Even though Joe's not in the right place. I hope that he right. listens to these. I think he does. Just scathes at work. so mad and he comes in here and beats us up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dark Side of the Stream today discussing Once We Were Brothers by the band. Now, we were talking about the fact that this was definitely Robbie Robertson's version of what happened. Even Garth Hudson, still alive, had no part in it. Yeah, I saw that at the um, end that he was still yeah, alive. And, a lot and, of them were dead. Yeah, but well, kid's... there was a little bit of a disconnect in the 80s because, like, Robbie wanted to just move on. He was like, I'm tired of pulling this thing. I want to get into doing solo stuff. I want to. Well, he guys a film got into compar- drugs, and this is a, a classic. S- several of them did. Classic yeah. lesson. Be careful, because yeah. some of the guys got into drugs, and he says they they completely changed their personalities. Yeah, there was no and, drive there, and uh, and I think he just wanted to get away from it, because it, Robbie wasn't really into that thing. And, and, and then later on in the 80s, the band got back together without Robbie and went and toured and played shows uh, with the Dead, more specifically, up until um, Richard passed. So it's just a really, it's a, it's a good story. Um, because you get some insight into the, where they were in Canada with the Hawks and all that stuff and how they were playing the circuit and how tight they were. And, and then the whole Woodstock, New York thing, how they bought the house and were just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just put a tape machine down yeah, here. They, and they boxed and up in it. a house, record a record, and then they didn't go out and play on that record and they, no, and, music and they became Pink, huge. Yeah. Right. And yeah. then they recorded another record. They're like, that's the complete opposite of what well, I want to yeah, do. I want to go out there and, yeah, and, and meet women. And, and that was kind of a foresight too, of what was going to happen. And, you know, they make their first record, uh, music from Big Pink, and then um, and everybody's and, like, "Who and are like, well, these guys?" These guys. And then they don't guys. even go play live. And one of the members uh, in a drunk driving accident almost kills himself and has to basically be in traction for and his neck for a alert, year. That dude had several accidents. Like, it wasn't just the only time, Mister Party. Yeah, and if uh, crashing he, cars yeah. left and right, dude. if you ever get a guy that looks at you and says, "No, I'm better when I'm drunk driving," yeah, yeah, no, I drive. I sober up when I'm right on the wheel. right out yeah. of their hands and say, "No, sir, you are not," um, because it could cost your band a whole year's worth of touring, and that's exactly what happened with the band 
Um, and, you know, again, I think what you said in the last break, Eric Clapton just wanted to be a member of this band. <laughs> That's the crazy part. You know that, like, as a member and you know, as a musician and a band member, I'm sure you and I both looked at bands that we've seen and you held Machine Gun Symphony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, I need to be in yeah, that band. Like, hey, and now hey, you're in that hey, band. This guy, yeah, I'm sure uh, There yeah. was a band called Muzzle. The same thing happened. I, and that was one of my favorite bands ever. I played with those guys when I was in another band or something or did something else. And I was watching them and I was like, this is the band I want to be yeah, in. And yeah, then eventually yeah. one of the guys left and i was like they asked me oh. to replace for a show and i said no 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 i'm in this it's either i'm in or i'm oh, not nice so good, I, good I mean i just my good power well, play. Yeah, i wanted to be in that band and then we went on to play for another four or four and a half years so it happens and when you see camaraderie like this you want it and that's exactly what was happening with the band we'll get to more once we were brothers with the band dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave once we were brothers, the documentary about the band is the discussion of our dark side of the stream today. So, you know, just like uh, you and not really knowing a whole lot about folk music and yeah, Bob, yeah, and Bob yeah. Dylan specifically. Off, off my uh, wheelhouse. Off here. your wheelhouse. Um, not enough hair, not enough flash. Um, you know, um, the band kind of felt the same way when Dylan asked them to join. They were like, yeah, we knew who he was. He's a folk guy, but we, we were doing a whole nother thing at the time. And then they go on tour with him. And this was the famous electric tour where they literally would, the yep. first show would be Dylan out with an acoustic and he'd come back out with the, with the band and they would get, get booed, booed everywhere they went. Terrible. Everywhere they went. And then it goes dawn later on that, you know, that then they go their separate ways. They kept working together. And there was a really cool uh, part of that documentary where um, Robbie's talking about playing Dylan uh, the weight for the first time and plays in the song. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, says, who wrote like, that? Who wrote that? Yeah. And he goes, I did. He goes, you did. Yeah. And like, that's good. That makes you feel good. You know, Hell especially yeah, when dude. you got one of these guys saying, man, this is incredible. Dog, right. Eric Clapton wants you to join your band. You, you're, you've, you figured out something, at least for a very specific window of what you're doing. And it was cool to see, um, despite his, uh, my thoughts on David Geffen, he, he was able to pull off, you know, signing those guys and then getting Dylan signed and then um, getting them back together later on so they could go back out on a tour yeah, yeah. and really get the warm welcome they deserved. Yeah. You know, um, it was tough to, you know, see what Richard went through as far as his dependency issues and all that stuff, especially Levon, who, man, what a great drummer, what a great voice. Well, and that dude at one point, like, Hey, I'm gonna quit the band. I'm gonna go work on oil. When they're rig. with Dylan, yeah. While they're with goes, Dylan, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go. My thing. I'm gonna go work on oil rig. Yeah. Like, they say my doing, thing, man. Yeah. While they're with Dylan, top of the world. Like this is what they were going for, but yeah. he didn't want it. He he was like this. I mean, I'm seeing this this lifestyle. I'm stuck in hotel everywhere, and he, you know, one day goes Robin. It's like that's ain't for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an Arkansas boy. Didn't want to have any part of it. Which, you know, it is what it is. We will get to part four in our conclusion and what we'll be watching next for The Dark Ooh. Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave. Jay Stevens, Mike the Intern, back in the studio discussing Dark Side of the Stream and more specifically Once We Were Brothers from the band. The exciting conclusion. So did you learn anything about I, this? I did. I learned that, um, once again... Not a big fan of the drugs. band. Drugs. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, once again, not a big fan of the band. Uh, drugs can can definitely screw up a good thing, uh, which has happened. I mean, that's just God, that's repeated like the, through history. There's so many stories of bands that we've done, ended up with that. Uh, and also just pretty much about the, the drive of of uh, Robbie Robertson just to, yeah. to push and, and make, make this make thing. Make things happen. And, and they said it, it early I liked on. Him. I, I, I thought he came across real nice. And the, I love how Geffen made him move out to Malibu. And he's like, what was I doing in here? I'm here. I'm living on the beach. That, now, and uh, falling, man. that Shangri-La Studios, Dylan actually at one point, they, they didn't talk about it in this documentary. It was in another one because Rick Rubin now owns that. It's a house in with a studio in there. And then there's actually a bus on the property where you could do live recordings from as well. Wow, so like, man. It's like an old converted bus. This place is unbelievable. And then at one point in the 70s, when Dylan was wearing that giant hat thing, he went and set up a teepee on the property, and that's where he there lived. There you go. In a teepee. Rock and um, roll, teepee. But yeah, that, that Malibu location was incredible, and still is. Ruben still records in that place to this day. I think that, I believe that's where Wildflowers were recorded with Petty. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff that was recorded in those studios. 
Um, so yeah, I, I agree. Drugs are bad. Um, the band is great. If you're into that sort of thing, I particularly am. I think the least music from big paint and the Brown album are, are masterpieces. And some of those songs are just so good the way they could harmonize with each other. I mean, you, and there at one other point in the documentary, someone made the comment, you know, you could take a band with one of these vocalists right, right. and, and they have could a be great a lead band. Singer, right? This yeah. band had, had three of them. Yeah. Of them. Yeah. Then they all work together. Almost a proto Eagles. Mm-hmm. If one you question will. I do have that that I saw a little bit there, but I figure you have the answer. Uh, so they get together and they do that big jam, the last, last waltz, waltz, right? The last and the they end. shoot a movie about uh-huh. it, and it's got everybody shows up mm-hmm. to this party, right? And everybody gets up on stage. Why? What's the Alice's restaurant and why do you play it on Thanksgiving here on the cave? The Alice there that we has go. nothing to do with it. Here we, we go. We usually play we usually play the I thought this uh, is the same thing. We no no no. The Alice's restaurant is, is by what? Arlo Guthrie and it's like a it's a song and and I think the So reason, Arlo Guthrie. But he was he was at this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I okay. think so. All right. no, I'm not too pop based and no, it's the no, same no. kind of music, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Folk yeah. Americana. Folk, folk Americana folk, yes. Yeah, um, it's like I'm stereotyping like people say all all rap is the sounds the same. I'm yeah. stereotyping folk Americana, it all sounds yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. And and there were um, so many different people at the last waltz. I mean, they had made friends with everybody. I mean So uh, what is the Alice's restaurant? On Thanksgiving? Yeah, and why is that on Thanksgiving? Um, the, well what? I th- it, it's basically that the the whole idea of this song and at least part one of it happened on Thanksgiving Day. Same thing with the last waltz. It was performed on Thanksgiving Day, like they came out and served everyone meal, okay. and then they came nice. out and played. All right. That's, um, that's same thing different. with Arlo Guthrie. It's the, the Alice's Restaurant. The events took place on Thanksgiving. So ah, all right. Well, so you go. Technically, is where I learned something. Hopefully, you learned something yeah, as well. Yeah, and home. that's why on Thanksgiving we play. Uh, that and we play the last waltz because it's a Thanksgiving tradition. There know? we go. Now so, we know. Worked here for uh, seven Dark Side years. Of the stream. I, you know, if you're a big fan of the band, check out Once We Were Brothers. But yeah, just understand good. that it's one man's version. There are four other guys in that band. Well, that it's like they say. There, there's outside. three versions of every story. Exa- exactly. Yours, yeah. mine, and the truth. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, it's your turn. Is it my turn? Uh, Gosh, I'm going to have to go throw back dark on us, guys. Oh, golly. <laughs> uh, and, and I made you watch this, and everyone else that I made watch this texted me the same thing. What the hell are you making me watch? So you at home can watch this as well next week with us. Abducted in Plain Sight on Netflix. Oh, we're going to watch that again? Abducted in Plain Sight. Why don't we Sight. watch the new murder one? Mm, I did, but Abducted in Plain Sight because people at home need to watch that. If you have not watched Abducted in Plain Sight... Woo! That's your Netflix and chill this weekend. Oh my goodness! Right, gracious. Mike. I made Mike yeah. watch it. It's I'm still honestly trying to get him back for that. And okay. there are so many times. All right, I'll so come he's up trying to get me back for it. So you need to do the same. Yeah. Abducted in plain sight. It's on Netflix. We'll meet back here next Thursday. Watch it this weekend. Uh, uh, it will blow your mind. It's another amazing tale. Good luck, and do not watch it with your children. <laughs>